everyone once again welcome back to my channel the budgeting baker it is so good to be back a little awkward haven't filmed in quite a while <laughs> um to all my new subscribers hi how are you welcome my name is christine i live in the upper midwest and uh well happy holidays merry christmas whatever holiday you celebrate. Um, New Year's is coming up. I know we're all getting busy preparing for that. So um, this is probably only the fourth time that I've tried to record this video. <laughs> but we're just gonna we're just gonna get this the sad part out of the way. And we'll just we'll we'll just gonna we'll just deal with it. And then we'll just jump right into everything else that I have planned for this video. So as much as, as, oh God. Okay, just give me a minute. As most of you know, um, I have two dogs and um, they are very much a part of my family. Um, I have Louie, who's my 10 year old purebred German Shepherd and Summer, who was my 14 year old mutt, I guess mixed breed so to speak that we found in a parking lot in Walmart years and years and years ago anyway um summer passed away <clears throat> sorry um right before christmas which is another reason why i've been mia I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to get through this and not record it again because <laughs> I'm just going to get through it. Um, Summer was an amazing animal. She was not very intelligent like Louis is, but she was eternally grateful for, for us rescuing her. She was very street smart. Um, I always told everybody that you never, I mean, you worry about Louie because of his size, but I always tell everybody to watch out for Summer because she was the protector of our house. Um, she was the sweetest thing. And I know that a lot of you out there have animals and probably feel the exact same way right now. So anyway, um, she had had, it looked like to be an infection in her tooth. So I took her to the vet. I, I'm always very, very diligent about taking my dogs to the vet and, and making sure that they're always at their peak of health. I treat them the same way I, I treated my kids, you know. So anyway, um, it looked like she had had an infection in her tooth. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> we're just going to get through this and then we're going to we're going to move on. Um, and, um, so I took her to the vet immediately and, um, they, I mean, she's been having, she has a heart murmur. She, uh, her kidney had been failing for a while, but it was kind of under control. We thought maybe she was 14 that we would get some more, you know, a couple more years out of her. Now, I don't mean to say that like a car, but we thought that she would live a little bit longer. Anyway, um, so they put her on antibiotics and they were going to um, let the antibiotics try to clear up the infection first and a little bit of a little bit of a pain medication, which she she's, you know, joints that ache and stuff like that. So she's no she's no stranger to being on a, a light pain medication, almost like an aspirin. Anyway, um, we don't know whether it was the antibiotic or if the infection had gotten into her bloodstream, which is what we were kind of thinking. Um, but the day after we started her on antibiotics, um, she um, she started having seizures, really, really bad seizures, like they wouldn't stop. So my daughter called me at, at work one morning and said, you know, Summer's having see what looks like seizures and her eyes are rolling back and she's straightening all of her limbs. And anyway, so immediately rushed her to the vet. And when she was at the vet's office, 
you know, for a, a couple hours, she just kept having them and having them and having them and having them. And the vet thinks that maybe the infection had gotten into her bloodstream or, <clears throat> or just some fluke thing. Like I said, she was 14, so she was an older dog. So anyway, um, I was talking to the vet on the phone, um, and she said, why? She didn't know well how she would tolerate any further medication. And, and we made the decision at that point that it was just time to let her go. Um, like I said, she had a heart murmur. She, her kidneys were failing. She was older. You, you know, there were some days where she would struggle getting upstairs. And anyway, um, it was not something that we wanted to do before Christmas. Um, but... So we, we, we made the decision to, um, to ease her pain. And, um, I'm, I'm, the only thing I thank for, thankful for is that my daughter was here that day or else she would have suffered seizures all day long and probably would have died by herself. Um, I couldn't get down to the vet's office in time. I was at work and, um, we were having a corporate visit and it was just a it was just a pain in the ass. Anyway, so my daughter, my my youngest daughter, Callie, was there with her and and um, brought her home. And she's buried in the backyard with the other seven dogs that are back there. Um, but it was just a, a very, very sad time for our family. Um, Louis kind of lost, but he's not. I mean, they weren't the best of friends. It's not like they cuddled all the time. And, um, but Louis was very lost and didn't understand, you know, I mean, for the first couple of days, he would go out in the backyard and sniff at her grave. And it, it was confusing to him. It was very, very confusing as to why she wasn't here anymore. So anyway, um, so it was, it was a, it was a rough Christmas. It really was. She was, um, she was an amazing animal. I'm very grateful that she was in our lives and part of our family. And, um, and yeah, and we're going to miss her a lot. We really did. We're, we are going to miss her tremendously. We're still trying to just, um, just get over the shock and the awe. And obviously this is not something that you plan. Um, but anyway, so we're sad. We're, 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 we're just sad, but again, grateful that she was part of our family and we were able to, to, you know, just get her out of a bad place when she was a puppy. And so anyway, this is, um, they had this made, this is her paws and it says summer on it and the vet's office do this and did this. And so anyway, we'll, we'll, um, we'll keep this very much, um, you know, near her picture. And so my husband is an artist and, um, let me grab one and I'll show you what I mean. Cause they're right here next to me. So my husband is an artist and, um, every time let's, let's see if we can hold on. There we go. Let's see if this is in frame. Yeah. Okay. So every time one of our animals pass away, um, he will take a photograph of them and he paints them. So on the wall um, to the left of me, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six, six of them for all the dogs that have passed away while we lived up here in the last 20 years. So this is lucky. Um, lucky we found, um, in, on my, 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 um, my father-in-law's cabin area. Um, lucky was with me when I went through cancer treatment. So she was kind of the most special one to me, but anyway, I won't go through all of them, obviously not. But anyway, um, so, so we'll pick out a picture of summer and, um, and, and he'll, he'll, it takes him some time because it's, it's emotional for him. You know what I mean? To, to paint them. He usually does, um, prism colors or he, he's done a couple of watercolors. And so anyway, um, so 
Christmas was rough. I'm not going to lie. Christmas was rough. We were supposed to go up and spend Christmas with my um, my uh, my grandchildren, but we ended up having a snowstorm. So, uh, so we're going to go up and spend Christmas with them this coming weekend. So Christmas was quiet and maybe as it should, um, we just, um, we just kind of really did nothing. We just exchanged some gifts and kind of napped during the day. And I made a, I made dinner and it was, so it was, it was, it was quiet. Um, but anyway, so, so if I'm a little off in this video, just know why that's, that's, that's why, but we'll we'll be okay we'll we'll be all right like I said it was we kind of knew that that it was going to be coming at some particular point she she was older she did have some health issues but we are forever grateful that she was that she was in our lives do we get another dog you know what every time we lose a dog we we always stop and say you know what they they always happen to find us so like my daughter just brought Louie home lucky we just my the dog that I just showed you in that picture we literally found her under a shed covered in fleas and ticks summer we found in a parking lot so you know what we wait and I'll never pay for a dog I have never ever ever I've paid an adoption fee for a dog but I've never paid for a dog um and if that be the case then maybe we check out some of the local shelters and um and 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 see what what dogs you know what I mean need a home um I will never pay for an animal ever not when there are that many dogs that are in um in shelters that need good homes so anyway um so this video might be a little sullen you know what I mean just kind of a little on the the you know the the little sad side so you probably won't hear all that energy in my voice but anyway so but we'll we'll be okay. We'll we'll be we'll be all right. You know what I mean? She's uh she she didn't die alone. She it wasn't a well, it was traumatic, but it wasn't traumatic, but um we'll we'll miss her. We, we will always miss her. And we always refer back to our animals and of course we have plenty of pictures around and we're just grateful that she that she was part of our family for for so many years, so many years. So anyway, um, okay, so that's the reason <laughs> you probably saw by the caption and my thumbnail that there was something that was going on. So, um, but what we do is we take these and then um, we make a little pinhole in it and then we, we put these right next to the pictures that are to my left. So anyway, okay. So, um, again, I hope everybody had a wonderful holiday. New Year's is coming up. Please be safe. Please be safe. We have nothing. Oh, I'm going up and watching my grandkids because my daughter and my son-in-law are um, going out for, for, for New Year's Eve. So, um, excuse me, got to get some vomit water. Um, so, I'm going to go up. She lives about two hours north of me. I'm going to go up and watch the grandkids and do our little Christmas celebration and open gifts and just kind of hang out with them. And then it's it's back to the grind. It's back to work. It's back to normal. Um, my daughter, my youngest daughter, Callie, will be leaving to move to Boston. She's been here with us for the last couple of weeks. She'll be moving to go to Boston on the 2nd of January. So uh, then, you know me, we're, we're, like I said, we're we're back to normal. We're, we're whatever normal is these days, but we're back to our regular routine. How about that? So, okay. So, um, again, with me not videoing and not posting anything and just kind of figuring out what 2024 is going to look like. And I cleaned out my office. Now I have like designated areas. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit regenerated. I have one area that I film, I have another area that I do with my Etsy shop. I cleaned everything out, threw out a whole bunch of stuff. So that is making me feel like I, I, I'm production. How about, how about that? So, and we'll see if we can't keep that momentum going at all of 2024. So, but over the last couple of days, I, I did take a couple of days off from work and, um, I've been, Every time I do my planner, hold on, I'll get it. So every 
time um, I do my planner for the year, I always try to pick a, a word of the year. A word that is I'm going to, I try to refer back to as to how do I want to, um, I don't want to say define my life. I mean, that's kind of big and bold, but just something to, something to work towards, something that I want to, um, that I want to kind of bring into my life and, and just kind of, um, mold my life around, um, so last year, my word was um, contentment. And I make these little things and these little things and I, I put them in my planner as just something to refer to. So last year was just a year of trying to be content with where my life is, how old I am, the direction I want my life to go in and... Um, and just, you know, just a new phase, a new phase in your life. So I, you know what, for the most part, now that I look back, I, I think I kind of held to this. I, I was very content about stepping down to my job into a different position, although I went back into another position, but it was okay. It was my choice. I was very content about um, my daughter graduating and becoming an empty nester, like a true empty nester. Um, about, you know, kind of where my husband and I are in our marriage after 27 years and we're very content with each other right now. It's just, you know, I, I was maybe looking at the word peace. It, it Peace is a, a very broad, broad. I, I needed to be content with where my life was. So anyway, so every year I make up one of these, these, these bifold I don't know. I don't even know what you want to call this. This bifold paper thing. Um, and and I, I put things into different different sections. So the first the first one here is contentment. Again, this was for 2023. So this is self, and I put some goals in here. And then this is family, and I put goals in here. Um, this is work, this is home. And then if you flip this way, you got money and you've got tasks. Now, um, I also did this in the midst of doing my Etsy shop and also starting my YouTube channel. So there were some boxes I didn't fill in. Um, and I and then at the end is a, 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 a page I can reflect back on. So... So as far as self is concerned, um, finish my doctor's appointments. I didn't end up doing that. So after it's done, I highlight it, um, update my will, take at least one day a month at vacation, read more, and complete my wardrobe. Believe it or not, well, I'll be very honest with you, I, I did vacation. I, I, I tried to take at least a vacation day a month. So that was done. The rest of this, I didn't do, and I had two left over, which is pretty sad, <laughs> to be honest with you. Self should come first, which is all, which is why I made it the first page here. So I take these, and then I put them into this year, and I know that I, I need to work on a little bit more of myself. Family, um, upkeep on birthdays, I was not very good at that. I have to update my family emergency box. I did not do that. Um, I have an Ancestry.com account that I really want to um, uh, continue working on. Thanksgiving in Texas I did. Go see the kids at least once a month. And Callie's graduation. So those things I did do. Um, work. You know what? To be honest with you, after everything that transpired at the beginning of the year, I just left work. It was work is, is not even on my radar anymore. And you'll see that in my upcoming one. So home, um, clean out store, clean out my storage room. I did that. We remodeled the windows and the siding. We did that. Um, we got a new dining room table. We painted the trim in the living room. The only thing I didn't do was get a quote on my upstairs floors and get a fence quote. So we did we did a lot on the house this year. And then um, money opened up an, an, a Roth IRA. I did do not. 
I did not do that. Fund one envelope a month ahead, I did not do that. Save $1,000 for a down payment on a new car, I did not do that. Pay down consumer debt, I actually did. I did start paying that down. Um, finish funding my 1000 emergency fund, I did do that. Um, I did increase my Etsy sales, but I did not monetize on, on YouTube. Um, I did start a $1,000 box for my granddaughter and I did increase my 401k to 11%. And then my tasks, um, just some kind of this, this way and that way stuff that I wanted to get done. Um, did I give Gia her baby books? Yes, I did do that. Reorganize my office. Actually, I just finished that. Um, repot all my indoor plants. My daughter did that and I cleaned out my fireplace. So now I'll go back and I will finish in this reflect page and um, and that'll be it for 2023. So I put this in my planner at the beginning of every month like this. So it'll go in usually usually around here someplace um, just so that I can so it's in my face and I can um, I can refer back to it a lot. So, um, so this year, this was 2023. So this will go in front here. So what is, what am I looking for for 2024? And I spent some time probably over the last month or so really trying to look at where do I want things to go in 2024? And, you know, I often look at other people's words and it's peace and joy. And, and if, if, if that's what you want to try to achieve in your life, more power to you. But as I get older, it's, those things at some particular point are s joy okay peace in this in this day and age it is so hard to attain that between family and money and work and are you really ever at peace you, you know um but if that's a goal that you want to be able to shoot for then go with it and i will give you all the support in the world so looking at 2024 I, I decided on the word sim simplicity. And the, the reason that I went that way is because, like I said, I'm going into the next era of my life and things are getting more difficult to do. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I'll, I'll be 56 in a couple weeks and although that's not very, very old, but you just don't have as much energy as you normally do. Um, you come home and you're you're kind of tired. I have a very physical job, so you um, you kind of want to sit and just relax for a little bit. And I just feel at this point in my life, it's time to start simplifying things. And and the the back half of that is I want to simplify them so that I can enjoy more. If, if that makes sense. So like take work, for instance, I'm hiring another part-time person to take some of the load off of me so that I can get more into my cake decorating and more creative. So I need to look at those things in, in, in my life and try to simplify them. Everything down to meal planning you know what I mean? We're going to do crock pot meal planning all the time now so that I can read more. So simplicity is something that, that I, I really want to strive for this year so that I can, I can enjoy other things, things that are in here. So, um, so my first one, um, I have family money, um, home, task, and then this way you go self and then I took workout and I put in Etsy 
because this is my priority right now, not work. Work, although I will always give them my 150%, maybe I just 100% this year, um, Etsy is gonna take me into my retirement, so this is more important to me than my job. I can do my job with my eyes closed and still pull huge numbers. So I am not so much worried about that anymore. But I'm not going to overwhelm myself. And then this will be, I forgot to put on that, but this the back pages reflect. So I'm not overwhelming myself. Um, I'm, not, I'm not putting anything in here that I don't think that I can obtain this year. Um, a lot of these were from last year that I wanted to continue continue going. Um, meal planning, monetize on YouTube, one month ahead in each bill, open my IRA, pay off my da my daughter's car, and I need to keep tra better track of my Etsy, my my Etsy expenses. The reason being is because this is what my Etsy expenses look like. I need to keep track. Now that I know that I'm going to continue with it, um, because of course I, I gave it a year and, and, and it's been fairly successful. Um, I mean, trust me, there are so many more out there that are more successful than I am. But anyway, um, and home, I want to deep clean some rooms. I want to decorate for each holiday. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's just a couple of items, clean out my guest room, work some more on house renovations. Um, I have a cookbook, um, a planner cookbook. It's like this. And um, I want to be able to fill that out with some of my mom's recipes and my recipes for my kids. So that's definitely something I want to do. I want to car shop, and I'll probably put like two more things in here, and that's going to be it. So simplifying life right now is going to be very, very important to me. So this year, find a little bit more of work-life balance. I definitely want to read more. I'm not finished filling this out yet. My yearly doctor appointments, I need to update my will, and I want to learn how to meditate. I really do. It's something that is always, um, I've been curious about, so I, I, want, to, I, I want to look more into that, um, just to be able to take a little bit more stress and, and mindset off and then Etsy increase uh, you know increase my sales better track of my expenses my marketing my branding so anyway there is there's nothing in here that I can't say for sure that I should not be able to complete now you never know what the year holds but it's just a goal to I don't want to call these New Year's resolutions because I hate that that is so much pressure if I can't do it I can't do it if I can do it then great you know what I mean? I feel that self, self, uh, that that um, self accomplishment. So anyway, so simplifying, simplifying, simplicity is my word um, for the year. Um, and if anybody is um, curious to know how I made this, I I'm gonna do a like a mock one, and I'll show you guys um, how how I made this. Um, I got it off of a of a YouTube channel like four or five years ago and I just love it because I can put it right into my um, my um, my my planner the other thing I didn't do this year I was not very good which is why I felt very very hectic and out of sort this year I did not do a very very good year uh, of keeping track of my planner Seriously, I mean, like, I did Thanksgiving week and I never even wrote in it. And it's not necessarily a bad thing, you, you know what I mean? I, I mean, I, I, but I felt it. I felt the chaos kind of, look at this, look at October. I didn't even fill anything in for October. And I enjoy doing this. I enjoy playing with stickers, I know. And we'll get into that a little bit more. But this keeps me grounded, especially as that I get older and my brain is just not functioning the way that some normal stuff should be. I need this. I need this to be able to feel in control. And, and I hate that feeling in control. I just need this to stay organized. 
just so that I can simplify things and I can enjoy things a little bit more. Um, I didn't do, especially towards the latter end of the year, I didn't do a very good job doing this and it made me sad. It really did when I'm looking at this now and I'm like, this is, this is, this is one of the reasons why I felt so chaotic is because of this. And I know it because I've been doing this for like five years now, four years. I'm going on my fourth planner. So anyway, so what I decided to do is I'm going to add another aspect to my channel. And I've seen a couple of other, um, a couple of other channels do this also. Budgeting will always be my core as to what my channel is going to be about. But once a, once a week, I am going to be doing my planning in a video. Now, this is a different planner from last year. I went with a different layout. But I will get into this a little bit more. Um, this will hold me accountable. This will make me sit down and get it done. Um this will make me hone in on the stuff that I need to get completed um, and give me the ability to simplify things. So um, I have a new cover coming. I, I purchased a new cover for this. Um, it, it's, it's a beautiful cover. So anyway, um, for those of you that are interested in, in watching those videos, not a problem. Uh, I'm looking to bring in more subscribers. I'm looking to bring in um, something else that that makes me happy and I feel I feel creative doing. So you guys will see more and more of uh, of a, a weekly plan with me. Um, so I'll I'll take out my um, you know some of my my sticker books and I just ordered a whole bunch. Um, I didn't buy any of these for 2023, and I purposely did that because I had so many sticker books that I tried to use. So I do have some more coming in. Um, so every week I'll be I'll be doing I'll be doing a plan with me. What is my week gonna look like? Um, decorating this and 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 putting it out there because there is a huge huge community of of um, men and women that do this, this, um, this type of, of planning. So anyway, so this goes in the front and every week I will, um, every week I will, uh, um, take a look at this. I have also found something else that I think is going to be kind of cute. So, and I'm going to start this in my next video. You're going to see quite a bit of different videos that I'm that I'm going to be bringing in a little bit more of, of an assortment so I found this at Barnes and Noble um, and it says this is me 1001 questions to learn more about yourself so I think what I'm going to do I won't do it now because this video is getting kind of long but I'm going to do it starting my next video so you're going to see some changes to my channel um, I'm going to be bringing in more creative stuff um, my budgeting is definitely going to be more honed because this mama is going to get cheap this year. Very cheap. Um, I have some debt that I want to pay off. Um, the other area is I usually use a portion of my Etsy paycheck to pay down like my remodeling loan. I will not be doing that this year. So there'll be a little bit less going into like my saving challenges and stuff like that because I want to expand my Etsy shop and um, I have a very large purchase that I, that I want to make. So anyway, um, but we'll get, we'll get into more about that. So anyway, it, 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 sorry, I'm playing squirrel right now. So I think at the end of every single one of my videos, now I've seen some of these questions, but there's 1,001 questions in here. Um, I'm going to fill this out like, like with you guys. So just so that you, you can, you can, um, like the first question is what is your happiest memory from childhood? And I'm going to write in 
so you guys get to learn a little bit more about me and I thought it would just be something fun um, and if you guys want to comment you know what I mean or answer the questions as as I go through that would be fun too this way um, we get to kind of learn a little bit more about each other so anyway I just wanted to jump on, give you guys, let you guys know I'm still here, kind of give you guys a a, um, a rundown as to where things are at and some of the stuff that will be upcoming and tell you guys about summer. And Anyway, thanks a lot, guys, for tuning in. Um, I'm going to be doing some more videoing today. I've got some Etsy orders i got to get out. December's been slow. I do expect it to be a little pickup in January when people start looking at their budgeting. Um, but I really want to start, um, cranking out some, some Etsy sales. Anyway, thanks again, guys, for joining me today. I wish everybody a safe and happy new year. Um, be watching for some more creative videos that are going to be coming out. And, um, and thanks for, thanks for tuning in with me today. Okay. Enjoy, um, enjoy the rest of your week, your weekend. Happy new year. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.